Alexa, give me a local news update. Philip, here's your news. In News Maine. Hey there, everyone. The players from Gray New Gloucester and Raymond have defeated Massachusetts in dramatic fashion, 2-1 to one to win the regional championship. New Center Maine, Sam Rogers is live in Bristol, Connecticut tonight, where he's been all day and has more reactions from this historic win. Hey, Sam. Hey, Alex. Well, I guess it goes lighthouses, lobster rolls, Little League Baseball. That is what Maine does. We do have to apologize. The lights here at the stadium in Bristol, Connecticut just went out a few minutes ago. But man, the lights were bright this evening when Gray, New Gloucester, and Raymond took down Canton, Massachusetts 2-1, to one, as Alex just pointed out, to send Maine back to the Little League World Series for the first time in almost 20 years. And what a game it was. If you know Little League Baseball, you know it's only six innings, so there's a lot of action. And we're going to show you some of the reaction from that final strikeout that sent Maine to Williamsport. And the Maine fans, credit to them from Gray to Bristol, it's almost a four-hour drive, and there were hundreds of them packed in the stands. But on the field, Caden Oliver took the mound, the starting pitcher for Maine. He threw five-plus innings, only let up one run. Caleb Barker, he got the scoring started for Maine, got an RBI single in the first inning. Grant Braun had an error-filled home run in the second inning to give Maine that two-run advantage, and they were able to hold it on all the way through. But things got dramatic at the end. Caleb Barker, the man who scored the first run, came in to close out the game. And there was a runner on first, then a runner on second and third. With two outs, he had to make a strikeout or get an out to send Maine to Williamsport. And he did just that. We actually spoke to Caleb after the game and talking to him about, hey, were you ready to get in if the coach called you to make a, the biggest out of your career? <laughs> just listen to what he had to say. You always have to have a feeling of you're going to come in and close the game. You always have to be ready, stay loose. And the one before, we had two outs. I was just trying to get that third out and ended up happening and came in in a really huge moment in a big game and got the third out. Crazy. Not us Mainers. We're well-traveled. Uh, we have to drive three hours to get somewhere. So wasn't surprised that uh, the community and a lot of others came down to, to support these boys, uh, little town in, in Maine, making it as far as something else. Now head coach Brad Shelley, who you just heard from, says, will the team be going down to Williamsport to just have fun and enjoy the experience? No, no, no. This team from Gray, New Gloucester, and Raymond is going down to win. They have not lost a single game all summer, and they don't plan on losing anytime soon. And we do know Maine is going to face the Seattle team that just won the Northwest Regional game a few minutes ago. So it will be Maine versus Washington Thursday at 3 p.m. And we may be down there in Williamsport to bring all the latest coverage coming up in a few weeks. But, Alex, it has been a historic night. The lights may be off in Bristol but they will be on in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Alex? <laughs> An exciting time to be a baseball fan in Maine for sure. Sam Rogers live in Bristol, Connecticut tonight. Thank you. And people in Maine were rooting for the home team tonight. Fans gathered at Birchwood Brewing in Gray for a watch party of the game. The brewery put the game up on the big screen for everyone to enjoy, and it got pretty loud in there tonight, as you heard. And while fans in the Gray New Gloucester area were hoping for a win, they say they're proud of the team representing them and the state of Maine. It's impressive to see how many people actually turn out for, you know, some of these events that have been um, in our community. But specifically this one, the community support has been unbelievable. And I know they're feeling it back in Connecticut, but if they could see what's inside right now, it would fill their hearts. This is just the fourth time Maine will go to the Little League World Series. Another team from Maine is representing the Northeast in another World Series. The American Legion team from Ellsworth post 207 Acadians are playing in Shelby, North Carolina for the 2023 American Legion World Series Tournament. Today, they played post 70, a team from Troy, Alabama. They lost to the defending champions 10 to 3. They play again tomorrow against Cheyenne, Wyoming. The 207 Acadians are the state champions as well as the Northeast Regional Champions earning them a spot in the tournament against seven other teams from all around the country. Alexa, stop the news. Zero home home Wi-Fi just...
Alexa, give me the forecast for Lewiston, Maine for the next seven days. In Lewiston for the next seven days, Saturday, 78 degrees Fahrenheit and lots of clouds. Sunday, 78 degrees and some sun and thunderstorms. Monday, 78 degrees and partly sunny weather. Tuesday, 74 degrees and thunderstorms. Wednesday, 78 degrees and partly sunny weather. Thursday, 76 degrees and mostly sunny weather. Friday, 77 degrees and thunderstorms. Alexa, give me a sports update. Here's your sports update. In baseball, yesterday, the Red Sox beat the Royals 2-0. And the Red Sox and Tigers game starts at 7.10 p.m. Alexa, who won the Patriots game? Yesterday, the New England Patriots lost to the Houston Texans 20-9 at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. The Patriots' next game is on the road against the Packers next Saturday, August 19th at 8 p.m. Alexa, when is NASCAR? The next NASCAR race is the Verizon 200 at the Brickyard, which will take place on Sunday, August 13th at 2.30 p.m. at Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course in Indianapolis. It will be broadcast on NBC. Alexa, have a good night. Have a good night.